plaintiff, Tila Harris, started dating the defendant when she was 18 and he was 26. Tila says she eventually discovered the defendant was cheating when she saw text messages from other women in his phone. And she's suing her ex for rent and a cell phone bill. Defendant Clinton Majors admits that he was still seeing other women in the beginning of their relationship, but says once he and Tilo committed to each other, all of that stopped. Clinton says he refused to pay rent once he discovered that Tila had a man visit their apartment. All right, state your case. Well, I met Clinton when I was 18 and he was 26, and I was really attracted to him. And then I found out that he was interested in me as well. So Who wouldn't be. Um <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> Look, smile. Go ahead. Okay, so um we exchanged numbers and then we finally started dating each other. Then after a while we decided that we wanted to be fully committed to each other. Like me and him, nobody else. Me I wasn't seeing no one else, he shouldn't see no one else. But it that wasn't the case. He was seeing other women. Beginning when? I would say maybe like three or four months into our relationship. And when was that again? When did you all begin? We we got together in July. Of? Of 20... How long were you together? Uh, about two years. Okay, two years. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Um, began cheating on you, so uh -huh. you say. Huh? So you say. <laughs> he'll probably deny it. Well, let's get to it. Did she catch you cheating? In the beginning of the relationship, it was kind of, it wasn't, it, it was basically, when we first met, it was like, you know, still dealing with other females, which. All right, three months know, in, you're right. That yeah, probably yeah. would be the case. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was, you know, and once we got really serious, I stopped leaving the other okay. females alone. Is that about right? No. You never stopped? No. Um, uh, what's the most recent time you caught him cheating? Um, I don't remember the exact date, but I know when we was together. The incident. You don't huh? have to tell me the exact date. The last um, incident. The last incident yes. was when we was living together. Mm -hmm. And I met, I shouldn't have been going through his phone, mm -hmm. but then that's when I found the random text messages from other women. Saying what? Um, saying that they should meet up, that they tired of sleeping alone. I'm like, I'm like okay. But How you, does that mean he's cheating with her? Because this is some random You might have been asking if he could hook her up. I'm tired of sleeping alone. Any of your boys are uh, singing. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you haven't told me anything else. I'm, I'm getting to Go it. Go ahead. Okay, so then um, he kept, like we was sitting down watching TV one day. This is when we was living together. And then he told me that he cheated on me. He told me this himself. And so at first I thought he was playing because he didn't sound serious. But then that's when he said it again. And I'm like, okay, he was serious. And so I, I was upset because I put my all into this person. I, I love this person. The man was telling the truth. Yeah. He's an honest man. Yeah. But it's, it still doesn't... Honest about cheating. <laughs> yeah, but it, that still doesn't get him the right to do it. If I'm faithful to you, if I'm faithful to you be faithful to me. I will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into the, uh, the breach of contract and the phone, but let me allow you to give some uh, background. Well, you know, I'm from Detroit. Now I'm in, you know, Chicago. All right. Uh, what part of Detroit? Uh, west Side. What part of the West Side? Warren and Evergreen. Up the street from Herman Gardens. Yeah, up the street, Joy Road area. Actually, you know, I've been living on Joy Road for the last for a long time, put it like that. Uh, they let you over there? Did they let me over there? Yeah. You know, light-skinned guys. <laughs> I've been there, been there almost 30 years. They, they catch it in the hood, dog. <laughs> That's why I had to be so violent and right. tough and play crazy, because I was somewhat light. Let's go ahead. <laughs> but, um, you know, me and Tilo, you know, we've been together for about two years. We've been living together ever since two, 2011. What has the March. relationship March. been like? It was, it was, it was good. You know, you know, like I said from the beginning, it was kind of iffy. You know, you know, after a while from knowing each other, you know, getting used to each other, you know, it takes time. But 
you know, she did catch me up with some other females in my phone. Uh, did you finish school? High school? Yes, yeah, I finished high school. Where? Uh, McKenzie High School. Okay. Let me hear from her uh, about the breach of contract, or if you're not finished with background, you can continue with that. Okay, um, me and Clint, we moved in together of March 2011. And he told me that we, he was going to pay the rent and the bills as long as I put the utility bills in my name. And the rent was five, $500 even. He told me that he was going to pay the bills. But then that's like in July when we, was, when we was living together, that's when he told me he was cheating. And then after that, that's when all the trust went out the window. And that's when he stopped paying all the bills. So everything was in my name, so all the debt was left on to me. And I felt like he should pay it because he said that he was going to pay all the bills if we moved in together. Okay, you have a list? Yeah, I have the, I had to go to court for the rent that wasn't paid. Okay. I went, here's the... Judgment? Uh-huh. All right. And this is the cell phone bill. Tell me the agreement on the cell phone bill. He told me that he wanted to get these new Evo phones. They was $200 a piece. I paid for him. He told me that he was going to pay the bills. Got the phone. He didn't pay it. So that debt was left on the knee. Left was on he the working knee all the time? Yeah, he had he had his own lawn service. He would be he would leave at 9 a.m. in the morning and don't come back at 11 at night. Who cuts grass at night? <laughs> Smoke grass. Who you say what? Smoke grass. That's right. <laughs> I should have known then that he was probably seeing. Should have known he was a hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cuts grass at night. Sir, let me hear from you. Well, actually, I was paying for, for all the bills. Okay. Truthfully, I was coming home. I mean, I get up at 9 o'clock in the morning and do come home because we didn't have a garage at our house. So I had to go to my parents' house and drop all my equipment off. So time I get done, I get done around like 8.30 till the sun goes down, basically. Mm -hmm. Go to my mom's and dad's crib, unload the truck, chill chill with the people who I'll be working with and then decide to come home. Uh, I do come home at a- Smoke a joint, have a beer. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you got any money left, to get you some yak. <laughs> Call Actually, yak. I'm not an alcohol, but you know. Go ahead. But uh, you He's know, just I was- a weed head. Go ahead, at least you, know? you work and take care of your business and you graduated from high school, you're in business for yourself. Yes. Excellent. A lot of guys in that neighborhood where we grew up are unemployed. In fact, the overwhelming majority are unemployed and can't exactly. get jobs and did not graduate from high school. I went to Cody for a half second. I, I didn't graduate. Huh? I went there, too. You went to Cody for a half a second, too? All right. Did you finish? Yep, I graduated. All right. Now, see, I'm the only one in here that didn't <laughs> <laughs> graduate from those schools. You all did a little better in the neighborhood than me. But I'm proud of you to hear the that you uh, have your own business. Yes. Now tell me then about the uh, agreement for yeah, paying the bills. I told her when we moved in, I was like, I'll take care of everything. Okay. You know? I'm not gonna lie, she, you know, she helped out as much as she could to, you know, wherever she needed to go and take care of her business, I was there to take it, take her everywhere. Okay. Like she had to go to uh, physical therapy, to the doctors, I was making sure she was going there. Uh, what changed? Were you, now, what, your was, circumstances or what? Okay, yeah, I understand. I got caught up in some situation. It was one day I came home and after work, she made sure the house was cleaned up and cooked dinner. I sat down and she said she was going to sleep. She was tired, so I was like, all right. You know, I'm chilling up, watching TV, watching the news, as, you, as usual what I do. Even yeah. watch the news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Educated. Don't so, watch you know, cartoons. <laughs> Don't mess with my brother. My brother sit up there and watch cartoons all day. Yeah. All you can tell me about is Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. He does watch a cartoon or two. I saw him, I caught him, but I told him I was going to tease him. So you were sitting there watching the news, and what happened? And she left her phone, you know, the Evo she left out, you know, that she purchased and I'm paying, the, you know, the phone bill for it. And, you know, her phone went off and she had a text message, an unknown number, talking about, hey, how you doing? What you, you know? So I actually picked up the phone myself and text back saying, I'm chilling at the crib watching TV. LOL. Smart too. So, Smart too, uh, you're right. And I left it as that. So, you know, I knew it was another guy. So, uh... The next day, actually, I took her to the doctors and took her to uh, physical therapy. And after we got done doing that, I asked her, like, was it another guy, you know, visiting my house where I'm gone? She told me no. So I told her, I'm like, well, you need to go ahead and check your, uh, your messages. She told me that, yeah, a guy did came over, her friend. 
somebody that she knew for a minute. <laughs> Talking about, you came over and chilled on the porch. You know, I wanted to believe her for a minute, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I do be working out there hard. You know, I do so come So what on. ultimately did you find out? Was it anything beyond just sitting on the That's porch, it. kicking it? That's all I know. Okay. You know, I'm, and I'm that caused you to do what? Me. That has you, how does that relate to the bills? I just, that kind of really kind of- Did you all stay together? Yeah, we stayed together. Okay, so that kind of what? Yeah, it made you stop paying the bills? Pretty much, it just made me stop you paying the bills. You hurt yourself, you got put out too. Yeah. You stop paying the bills and both of you all get put out. I'm not gonna let you okay. all debate whether you all messed around or not. You did and he did, you know you did. No, I didn't. Talking about the man was sitting on the porch. Sitting on the porch what? What were y'all sitting on the porch doing? Reading the he, Bible, he what? Never, did nobody come over. Huh? No, nobody, nobody came over. This is just something that he bringing up so he can say that I Cell did phone bill, sir, you owe that? Yes. I mean. All right. So you pretty much agree that you owe, but you're saying uh, since she had the guy on the porch over there, let him pay it, right? Pretty much. <laughs> I'm with you on that, what we'll do, you pay it today, and then we'll get it from him when we catch up with him, all right? $2,592, he agrees he owes. Have a good day. I really don't have nothing to say. I mean, I tried, you know, try to make her happy, but. I tried to make him happy too, but it wasn't enough.